high. In this activity, we will practice skills necessary for navigating the Cisco iOS, such as different user access modes, various configuration modes, and common commands used on a regular basis. Then, we will practice assessing the context-sensitive help by configuring the clock command. Now, we will begin with part 1, establish basic connection from PC1 to switch 1. To connect, I will use the connection icon and then I choose the console cable. I click on the console cable icon and then I click on the PC. On this PC, I choose RS232 port to connect to the console port on the switch. Now I open PC1. On the desktop tab, I click on the terminal. You can see that those settings are of port configuration, for example, bit per second, data bit, parity, stop bit, and flow control. We will set all the settings in default and click OK. Here, you can see the CLI of the Cisco iOS. Now we will press enter to get started. As you know, the iOS can provide help for commands depending on the level asset. The prompt currently display is called user exec mode. And now the device or the switch one is waiting for a command and if you want to help or to get help you should enter the question mark at the prompt to display a list of command so after typing the question mark command you can see all the command on user exec mode are listed here For example, we have connect, disable, disconnect command. To search for a command, begin with a letter. I type that letter following by a question mark. For example, I type T and then a question mark. You can see telnet, terminal and chase route command are listed here. Another example, when I type D and I following by a question mark, you can see we have disable and disconnect commands. And this type of help is known as context sensitive help. Now we will begin with part two. In this part, we will switch to privilege exec mode and issue additional command. Now we are on the user mode. You can see the icon or the larger shy here. And when you enter the question mark, all the commands on user mode are displayed here. To enter to the privilege mode, we have enable command. Now I enter enable command and press enter. You can see the hashtag here. It means we are now on privilege mode. On this mode, I press a question mark and all the command that can be run on this mode are displayed. 
we can enter to see all the commands. Now I enter C L to search for a command begin with two letters. We have clear and clock. When I enter E C L E and then I press tab key, it will complete the command for me. Or if I enter C L O and then press the tab key, it also complete the command for us. This feature we call command completion. We need only to type the first letters of a command, then tab key. This feature will complete the command for us. When I press C and press tab key, that nothing happen. When I press C and L and press tab key, nothing happen too because we have two command begin with C L. So we should press more letter. For example, O and press tab key. So we have clock command. Next, we will enter to the global configuration mode by typing configure, then press enter. A message display configuring from terminal, memory, or network. And the default is terminal. If we enter here, we will enter the configuration from terminal. I press enter. Now you can see a message display enter configuration command. And this mode, we can see the config with the hard task. This mode will be explored further in upcoming activities and lab. For now, return to privileged eject mode by typing N, ACID, or the combination of Ctrl Z. I type ACID to return to the privileged mode. Now we will begin part 3, set the clock. I press show clock command to display the current time on the device. So this is the current date and time. So it's not the present time. So I will use the clock command with the context sensitive feature or context sensitive help to set the time on the switch to the current time. So I enter clock and press tab key and then I use the question mark. It display set. I enter set and then enter the question mark the current time and the format of the time. I enter 10, 49, and then I enter the question mark. Firstly, I enter the day of the month. And the month, and the year, day, month, and year. It does not recognize this command, so I 
enter and then question mark month of the year or question mark month of the year so we should use Jan and the question mark and the year the question mark Shia mean we can press enter to verify the current time on this device I will use the show clock command again you can see the time and the date so that is all for this activity thank you for your time